I call him Rinalda. And uh, that was the first time he, I mean, I saw him and he, he also saw me for the first time and he asked me that, uh, are you interested in films? At that time, I mean, I never thought of really acting in films. So I said, I wouldn't mind. So, uh, but my parents, you know, they wanted me to finish my school first. And it was in 1975. Uh, I was free. I was in college. And one day, Rinalda rang me up. I mean, he wanted to talk to my brother. And uh, he just, uh, he asked me that, what are you doing nowadays? So I said, I'm free. I'm, uh, I've finished my school. So I'm free. If you have anything in mind, I mean, I can. I mean, uh, I'm free to act in your film. So at that time, he was planning a film co uh, called Mrigaya. And uh, he, he, he said, you just come over to my place. And uh, we had a talk. He read out the script to me. And uh, that was a role of a Santali girl. So I, I told Rinalda that my features are very different from a Santali girl. So do you think I'll suit that role? So he said, never mind, let's see. So one day he uh, brought his makeup man and his still photographer with him. And uh, uh, he, the makeup man applied dark makeup on me and few stills were taken. And I was looking terrible, absolutely bad. So I told Rinalda that if I have to do this film, I'll just sit out in the sun, I'll get myself tanned. And I did that for the film. For two and a half months, I was just sitting out in the sun. And for that film, I, I didn't apply any makeup. It was just glycerine on my face. And... Um, that's how everything what, happened. Uh, what do you remember of the shooting of Megaya? <clears throat> what was the first shot like? The first shot, oh my God, I was so nervous. Um, it was on 28th of December, 1975. Mm. And um, we went out for shooting, we went to the location. And Rinalda was busy talking to Mithun because it was his film, first film also, as well as mine. So, and Rinalda was absolutely, I mean, I was sitting there alone uh, with the technicians and Rinalda was busy with Mithun. Mithun was uh, giving his shots because he was more easy with the camera as he was from the Pune Institute. So he had seen a camera before, uh, which I hadn't. And uh, he, Every day, usually, Minalda is always talking, cracking jokes, and you know, um, it's all the time he's very, he keeps you sort of very, uh, he makes you feel very easy. But that day, he was not talking to me, he was busy with me too. And uh, all of a sudden, he just called me, uh, Momo, you just stand here and look this side and what you have to do is just follow Mithun wherever he is going, just follow him. And before I, I knew what I was supposed to do or anything, the camera was on and the shot was over, hmm. before I could realize. So, and it was just like that, before, because he knew that I was so nervous, so he didn't uh, sort of wanted to make me more nervous, made it very easy for me. So that was the first shot. But when I saw it on screen, I really, I, I mean, I, I look like a lizard in the <laughs> scene. I look very funny. And I think it's a bad, uh, I mean, I've, I've not really done that scene nicely. But later on, I became, you know, he, made me feel very comfortable. 
he started cracking jokes and uh, I mean he made everything very informal so later on I was not that nervous and especially for one scene where uh, another day I remember when I, there was a scene when the zamindar he sends his people to and I'm supposed to be kidnapped and uh, Rinalda was you know Rinalda was telling me that this is a very difficult shot and you have to prepare yourself few tough people are, I mean three or four tough people are coming and they'll just grab you they'll tie you and do this and that it's a very difficult scene and I was again so nervous you know I thought my god what and I was asking Rinalda that what do I have to do exactly and he was making me more nervous you know just like that it's his habit of, you know at times he does that so I was there for the shot and when the shot was explained he just told me that you have to just go there and as if you've seen something you just do this and then later on we'll tell you what to do so I was there I what Ronaldo asked me to do I did you know, I just did that and he said cut and then I was sitting there I was I thought I have to do more something you know those people were coming and they, they'll carry me and all this I mean I said pack up you don't have to do anything else I said what about this the rest of the scene so it's done and when I saw it on the screen it was just my action reaction I mean after seeing something and just the sound effects like um, I just had to scream a scream uh, for the dubbing and few sounds of you know closing the door of the palanquin and all those things and the same effect was there and I had never seen anything like that before this was the first experience of uh, like uh, just doing something which I ha I haven't done but on the screen it I mean it looked that everything was shown does it do that very often uh, well, for this scene, yes, he did. Yeah, a few scenes were like that. Uh, another scene I remember from Mrigaya is the wedding night scene, where uh, Mithun and myself, uh, we had to just uh, say one word. Uh, we repeated the same kya, it was just kya, three times. I said kya, Mithun said kya, again I said kya, and Rinalda explained the scene so beautifully. I mean, uh, he was as if you know I could see the scene before I did it. I could just visualize the scene. And uh, once Rinalda knows, it's a very nice thing about him. Him is if, when he knows that uh, uh, you're capable of doing what you're capable of doing. He gives you that liberty. You know, he just explains the scene and uh, he tells you to just enact it. I mean, the way you feel like doing it. So that's what he did for that scene. And we, uh, the camera was on, we did the scene. And I think it's one of my favorite scenes in Riga. I mean, does as far as my acting is con uh, concerned. Does he get very angry? At times. I mean, with newcomers, he's very patient. Very patient with newcomers. When I remember during Mriga, he was very patient with me. But not later on. Ooh. He would just say, Kichu hotchena. Kichu hotchena. He'll make you so nervous. Because, you know, he wants, he knows that you can do this scene easily. And when he can't get what he wants, then he gets impatient. But otherwise, he's absolutely very patient and uh, very relaxed on the sets. Uh, he'll, he'll, 
while you know they're shifting the lights and everything, he'll crack jokes. He he makes it very enjoyable. It's it's really a nice experience to work with him. And every day, I I don't know when I'm shooting uh, uh, in other films, I always wait for the director to say pack up. But with Minalda, it was different always. I mean, I always uh, hang around. Even when he says pack up, uh, I'm there. I, I just, uh, I don't know, I enjoy his company, the way he works. And uh, I don't know, I really enjoy working with him. Did you at any point uh, try to confront him with your characterization? Suppose you had certain problems, certain thing you felt was not right, certain lines, certain dialogues. Dialogues are very, uh, I mean, uh, it's always he makes his dialogues very, uh, I mean, they're not at all bookish. Even for Agdin Protidin, uh, his dialogues are so natural that, you know, I never feel that I'm speaking out lines from a script or anything. It's just like whatever just comes into my mind, I can say that. And when he feels it's okay, he'll just, he won't say cut. He'll let me speak out my lines the way I feel like doing it. And um, he, sometimes I have suggested a few things. And if he thinks it's okay, he accepts. Uh, in that way, he's very easy to work with. And um, I think in courage, it was uh, it was really a nice experience to work in Karaj. What did you tell you about the character in Karaj? <clears throat> Ma, I was called Momuta in that film. Momo, what I'm called. I mean, my nickname. So uh, that made made it more easy for me. You know, I, as if I was really uh, I was myself in that film. Did you uh, ask him why you were called that character? No, you? everyone was called there. Like Anjun was called Anjun. Uh, I was called Mamata. Srila was called Srila. So it was like that. And I think that made it more easy. You know, we never thought it was the whole, uh, the set was so realistic. Um, the whole situation, everything was absolutely as if I was in my home. I was acting, it was my kitchen, it was my bedroom, it was, everything was, and, uh, and also Bodhi was there, Rinalda's wife was there in that film. And somehow I felt very close to that character. No, did he tell you anything about the character? How did he brief you on the character when he first read, he read out the script? He read out the script to me. And from the very starting, I mean, I, I felt it was my story. I felt it was uh, something happening in my family. Somehow the whole, whole thing was very familiar. Do you remember any scenes in Courage which you think is, was very difficult? In Courage, yes, one scene. Um, there was one scene where I stand uh, next to a door and uh, this boy who was working for us, he dies and the father of that boy comes and I ask my husband that how, how, uh, what am I going to tell the father? What am I going to say? Just please tell me, how, how am I going to face him? So, and I burst into tears and I really, I felt, you know, I, I could feel the scene. I could feel the, as if it was really true. I mean, I had to face someone whose son was working for us and who had died. And uh, I mean, I, I got so involved that I really burst into tears. And Rinalda, after the shot, he just came and you know, gra uh, you know, he just, uh, I'll never forget, he was so happy with that scene. And that was taken in one take? In one take, and it was okay. 
and after that i just couldn't stop you know i was still i had the feeling and i was still crying uh, it was very nice feeling you worked with many other directors kira abas cut cut how does minal the manage uh, to make a film without knowing the language hindi or the i don't know really you see that he he doesn't know hindi he doesn't know telugu my first uh, second film with him was in telugu uh and uh, we had four script writers writing the same script and um, i sat with one person and he told me that this is how you have to speak the lines so i learned the lines i went to the other person and said my lines and he said what are you speaking i don't understand anything doesn't make any sense so he teaches me a new you know a, a different line i go to the third person i say the same thing he says no it doesn't make any sense so four people instructed me and renalda you know he doesn't know anything so he know he doesn't know which is the right thing <laughs> to say so i had really i mean uh, so how did problem. you select the final i don't know <laughs> i don't know how he selected but somehow the film was made and i i liked that film very much okavari ka tha what was your role in that the wife and uh, it's prem chand's kafan and um, of course in kafan there's hardly anything to do but in renalda's film i i thought it was a nice role what did he do how can you just explain your character in that film it's a wife who is being exploited by the father in law by the husband they themselves don't want to be exploited but they are exploiting the wife so it was it, it, it was a very nice character i liked doing that role and uh, but i had terrible time with my dialogues in that film and uh, in that film also i minalda minalda uh, didn't want me to wear shoes slippers for the entire shooting period he didn't allow me to comb my hair excepting uh, for one scene i think the wedding scene or or two scenes where i combed my hair uh, he didn't allow me to wear churidar kameez or pants or anything nothing of that sort he wanted me to wear sari all the time so that you know i got more involved in the role and uh, in riga you'll see my uh, when i walk barefoot uh you can make out that i'm not used to walking on rough uh, surface so for rokavari katha minalda told me that uh, don't wear slippers and i did that and in rokavari katha i look more comfortable you worked with so many directors what do you think is so special about minal sen the way he explains your role the you know he really can bring out what he wants from you and another another thing i really like about minalda is when he reads out the script the expression he has on his face it's especially his eyes they're absolutely blank but still they speak so many things you know i have tried so many times i've tried to imitate him you know the way he looks the way he delivers his dialogues absolutely with his eyes absolutely blank without any expression anything but they're very intense i've tried but i failed i still yeah i asked ronaldo how how do you manage to do this but i don't know maybe he's also not conscious about it but he just does that and uh, he's it's a fun to work with him like uh, he loves gossip he he's 
and he remembers things. You know, if he reads something uh, in a book or anything, or if I tell him something, he'll remember the exact lines. Uh, it's really nice to talk to him.